Well, hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming, today is Thursday, and I'm filming a little later because we had the guys working on the porch at, on back and it was a lot of noise and a lot of commotion this morning. Two, I had to do a little work for my job this morning. And three, I cannot wait to show you I went to a sale last night, believe it or not, at 8.30 at night. The lady was super nice, said, come on by, I'm here anyways, come and look, and I can't wait to show you those three. shutters that I purchased at the yard sale. I'm just going to use some of this flat um, black spray paint and just give it a couple of coats and see where we're at. So I'm going to let this dry before I can paint my sides. So yesterday I started painting the two um, shutters. I'm going to finish that today so I can put them up and decorate my family fire pit place. There we go. It just comes to show that sometimes when you look at something and you really like it just a little spray paint in a few minutes of your time will change something to make it your own so I have the two shutters that I painted black and I kind of I want to kind of put them, I hope the camera doesn't fall backwards and give you a back, uh, a next slash here. So my thought was about to put these on each side here. That's one. Where did I put the other one? Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to place the other one on the other side. Ooh. Now, I got this one here, and I'm just, it's a old mirror frame that I, I'm going to put up here. And I'm going to put this 
up here. So, doesn't it make it look bigger? I don't know, I just, that's kind of what I had in mind. I, to me, it just frames this and it looks so much bigger. So, I believe that frame was free on the side of the road, I'm pretty sure. And the two shutters were $2 or a dollar each or something like that. So, my other thought was to Because of all the black color and paint, I'm just going to soften that with adding a wreath in the middle there. So here, I just added the wreath in the center, and now I'm just going to decorate the mantle. I know I look super short. These ceilings are higher because it is a sunken living room, but that's why I look shorter than the fireplace. So I have more of this um, ribbon, burlap ribbon. It's a huge roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unroll it all and measure the center and go from there. Sometimes when you do things like this for a different season, it's just best to just try it out. And if you don't like it, you can just change it because you change it every season anyway. So, okay. Whew. So I went ahead and measured the middle. This is the center part of my um, burlap. You cannot see them up here, but I do have a thumbtack on each. I have one in the center and one on each side. I'm just gonna take my jolt, whatever you wanna call this, and tie it so it will uh, hang around the thumbtack on the fireplace. Then I'm going to tie it on each side too. making sure it's even on each side. Next, I'm gonna be adding my, ooh, ouch, stepped on something, my fall colors. 
So this morning at one of the yard sale, I picked up this uh, garland and I picked up this centerpiece. It was 25 cents, I think, a piece. Not a bad deal. So I'm gonna just put my garland with my uh, burlap. Even though they're not the same color, that is okay, because fall is different colors. And I'm working with what I have. And I have a lot more florals, so. Well, this is a really messy situation that we have here. I have some cinnamon wax burning and it smells like fall in here. You can see by my face though, the weather is not. Even though we have our air conditioner on, it is muggy and hot outside today. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one as well. I know you only see the back of my head. So on the middle here, I had this three piece candle holder. This was a piece that I got from Kirkland, but I'm only using the candle holder. Then I'm just gonna use this Dollar Tree one just to fill it in a little bit at the top. And then I'm going to take this little swag kind of centerpiece. And by the way, I have been to Walmart and they do have those uh, candle rings for $2.98. They do have those. They're kind of like in a box with a mixture of different um, fall decor. So they do have them. So now you're going to say you have all this other burlap hanging from each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some hanging and I'm just going to bring it back around. To the center. And I'm going to take my center and I'm just going to do a loop with it. So if you notice 
here, it doesn't look like a lot of greenery because of the leaves. Some of them fell. So I'm going to fix that by bringing down my Dollar Tree extra and I'm just going to add it to it. So it doesn't look so sparse on this side. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I work with burlap, my nose starts itching. So on each side I have the greenery and the burlap. I just think it looks like a totally different uh, fireplace mantle. With a little bit of music, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my fireplace mantle and I will be showing you the items that I'm going to need to get some more battery operated candles for these but I'm going to add these cute little candle holders on top of that little candle holder I think that completes that look up there. I think I want to add something on both sides. I just got to see what I have. And then the mantle will be pretty much complete. For the two shadow shutters, I'm going to add on each side these cute little shiny berry reeds. I've had these for a long time. To be honest, I don't even know where I got these from. I've had them that long and I'm going to hang these on both sides of the shutters.
I think that makes a big difference, don't you? So on the one side of the fireplace, I have my fern in a vase, and all I did was take two large bouquets of fall flowers and added it to the arrangement, and then I added some of these fall looking fabric feathers to it, just to give it a look over there. And then on this side, I think you remember this old crate that I rescued from the trash. It's really broken apart, but I just don't have the heart to tear it up. I was going to tear it up and do a nice um, uh, sign with it, a wooden sign. I just don't have the heart to break this apart, you guys. So I'm going to do something on this side with the greenery that I found at that yard sale, that bag of $2 greenery. Let me get it for you. There was actually all of this. Remember the jungle that I found at the yard sale? So what I wanted to do was take this greenery, and I know it's fall, but we can have some greenery through it. And there's nothing at the bottom of this. I'm just gonna leave it empty. And I'm just gonna land my three huge mongoose greenery arrangements in there. This one in the middle, I think. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to fluff this one up as much as I can. And I'm going to add it to this side. And then I'm just going to fill it in with a little bit of fall flowers. Um, I have this bouquet right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some fall flowers to it. I'm just gonna keep adding to it. I'm going to add some of these feathers as well just to kind of mimic the same kind of thing and just using what I have. I have a whole bucket full of greenery here I mean fall flowers <laughs> and I'm just going to add to that some fall leaves another one of those feathers I'm going to see what else a couple of cakes just on top they'll stay they're not going anywhere couple of kicks. Kicks on this side. Oh, I love these. They look like berries. And just by using what you have, sometimes you get a different look. I just don't have the heart to break this apart. It's old and it's rustic looking. And I think it looks good here for right now for fall time. I might just even get, um, actually I have one right now. Oh. I can actually do a little sign in the front like this. I might put a thumbtack and actually it might hang in one of the green leaves. There we go. Sing it in the leaf. There we go. And I have a little sign in front of it. And then I could just keep adding some of these picks in here and make a big fall arrangement on this side as well. And I am almost complete with my fireplace mantle. I am not adding lights yet. I'm going to try to find more of those pixie lights that I love so much instead of doing the Christmas lights. There we go. I love that. I got a nice pick here with a nice bow. And I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to go ahead and add that to this side. 
the bow out if I can. There we go. I'm going to add all of these on this side because it look, doesn't look as orangey. Add that one there. Fluff up this bow. And I might even just tuck this in here a little bit. Oops. Add a little flower there. And add a little flower here and there. And look at that. A totally different look for a nice big bouquet of fall flowers on this side of the mantle. here I added one of my uh, cast iron um, candlesticks. I'm going to add that right there. To that I'm going to go ahead and add one of these candles on top. And to finish that look, at the bottom, I'm going to add another one of those candles. And I'm going to add some candles to it later on. So far, I love the look. That is just exactly what I was thinking. Like I said, I will put some light in the candles. I love that bouquet. If this corner of my home does not scream fall, I don't know what to tell y'all. fireplace mantle and fireplace area is ready for fall I am so excited my home is really looking festive and I cannot wait to do the tour with you guys tomorrow I will be doing some fall DIY so come and revisit my channel for that and if you have this not to subscribe yet push that subscribe button so you can see or in the notification bell so you know when I am on and when I'm doing all of this decoration and crafting DIY projects because with this channel you never know what you're gonna get but I can tell you one thing I bring things home I bring it with love and I bring it to life I will see you tomorrow with fall DIYs. I can't wait happy fall y'all